Bali is well known across the world because of the long history and rich culture it has, and because of the peculiar wind, flower, snow, and moon that tourists boast of. Bali University is just situated in this beautiful ancient city of long history and cultural heritage. The unique natural scenery and engaging human landscape will characterize the institution and make it a university of scenic landscape in the real sense. The university lies at the foot of magnificent Tansan Mountain and commands a panoramic view of the tranquil Oha Lake. It covers an acreage of nearly 170 million square kilometers and consists of three campuses, South Lemin Row Campus, Hohua Campus, and Dali Tang Campus, which are located respectively in the ancient town of Dali and in the modern city of Shaguan. The three campuses, just like the three pagodas in the vicinity, stand in a manner of a tripod, just between the Changsha Mountain and Oha Lake, forming a significant human landscape. This is a comprehensive undergraduate university ratified and endorsed by the Education Ministry of China. It was founded after merger of the former Dali Medical College and Dali Teachers College, incorporating Yunnan Broadcast and TV Universities Dali Branch and Dali Industry School. The university is a multidisciplinary teaching entity. It offers a wide range of programs in the fields of liberal arts, sciences, medicine, industry, education, administration, and law. There are 1,500 faculty and staff members. Nearly 300 of them are professors or associate professors, and 13% of them have master and doctor degrees. The whole faculty are doing excellent jobs in all the programs which are offered in increasingly wide scope. The faculty are provided with complete and most updated equipment and facilities for their own jobs. In view of the actual needs of society, Dali University from the very beginning has oriented itself to the philosophy and mission. Keep close ties with Yunnan's economic and social progress. Based on Dali to serve Yunnan, embrace the whole country and radiate across to Southeast Asia. The university as a comprehensive undergraduate institution will move on with its own characteristics to be advanced within the province and well known throughout the country. To become a high quality talent fostering base, a research food incubator and a base for community service. There are 15 colleges, clinical college, pharmaceutical college, nursing college, Public Health College, Basic Medicine College, Chinese Literature College, Art College, Foreign Language College, Computer and IT College, Sports College, Life Science and Chemistry College, Continuing Education College. There are two teaching auxiliary departments, the Library and the Modern Education Technology Center. In addition, there are five scientific research institutions, including an affiliated hospital, a pharmacy research institute, and a minority culture institute. There are 30 undergraduate specialties and 21 non-degree specialties. There are more than 8,000 full-time resident students from 23 provinces and more than 15,000 part-time students of continuing education. Postgraduate programs were authorized to grant master degrees and have enrolled the first group of graduate students in 2004. These programs have enabled the university to take the lead in progress compared with those colleges funded at the same time. In an age of universities mushrooming and vying intensely, Dali University must go its own way with its own characteristics to foster innovative and enterprising talents. 
Over the past few years, the university has provided thousands of graduates for Yunnan's medical and health organizations and educational institutions. Our graduates have admirable qualities in common: down to earth, devoted, and highly competent with remarkable practical skills, and have won the trust and commendation of society. We'll stick to the priority of providing good talents, helping the students learn to perceive, learn to do things, learn to live, and learn to survive. And on the other hand, ensuring them to be solid in foundation, wide in knowledge, strong in ability, good in moral conduct, and distinctive in a certain skill, so as to contribute to economic and social progress. Adhering to the priority of teaching and cultivate high-caliber talents, the university, from the very outset of establishment, has always been accurately addressing the relationship between learning and innovation, and between heritage and development. It has made a scientific analysis of and dauntless probe into many fields of great concern regarding the university's orientation. Talent fostering mode, curriculum restructuring, expanding of fields of study, employment of faculty, and reform of teaching methods. As far as a new university is concerned, which is located in the borderland of minorities, the only way out is to go its own way, and spotlight its strong points, so as to challenge triumphantly. The other rivals and secure its position, its share in higher education. So far, biology program has displayed its momentum and distinctive features, and other programs in pharmacy, nursing, linguistics, and minority culture have also emerged with incomparable characteristics, and extended across to Southeast Asia. The university has attracted and employed a large number of high-caliber talents, and ensured to them favorable terms and conditions. A group of leading scholars have been selected and put in charge of key programs. Pharmacy is one of the province's key specialties. Pathogen biology, medicine, chemistry, and pharmacology. Are ranked among the priority disciplines of the province. The pathogen biology laboratory is one of the province's exemplary laboratories, and medical biochemistry and anatomy are among the key subjects of the province. The university enrolls students not only from its local Yunnan province, but also from other provinces and cities of China. And from abroad as well, and the graduate students from outside Yunnan Province accounted for 37 percent of the total student population in 2004. In order to boost up students' hard effort in the pursuit of knowledge and enable them to fulfill smoothly the programs they have taken, the university grants scholarship each year. To 12 percent of students, who shall obtain an amount of money ranging from 400 to 1,000 Chinese yuan, and has made it possible for students to have part-time jobs on campus, to enjoy bank loans, and even to enjoy appropriate reduction of tuition. All these measures have considerably helped students. And made the campus alive and an enjoyable experience. Combining research with teaching is a guiding principle the university consistently advocates and pursues. On the campus, the five institutes or research units they are engaged in studies, respectively of pharmaceutics, medicinal herbs. Pathogen biology, minority culture, and higher education. A project has started to invite 100 professors from outside 
Yunnan Province. Within three years, to conduct academic exchange and give lectures and help with research on the campus. Since the ninth five-year plan period, the university has undertaken 171 research projects, of which nine are of province level and state level in Natural Sciences Fund. 21 have won prizes, and eight have applied for patent right. 32 monographic books have been published and 116 textbooks compiled, more than 3,000 articles published. Fully exploiting the local resources to implement research programs, the college has undertaken some other projects sponsored by the Natural Science Fund of the state and has hosted a few projects of the province. Meanwhile, particular consideration has been directed to putting research results into production. And successive achievements have been made in researches of ideological theory, elementary education, minorities' culture, artworks, and minorities' music and dance. In June 2003, the university was authorized by State Council's Degree Evaluation Committee to grant master degrees for the programs of medical pathogen biology, medicinal chemistry, epidemic disease and health statistics, and pediatrics. These programs have enabled the university to become the forerunner of all of its counterparts of undergraduate universities or colleges that were established during the same period of time. In September 2004, the university welcomed for the first time 20 master degree candidates, which marked a big jump of the institution's programs level. At present, great efforts are being made to reshuffle education resources and restructure the layout of disciplines and curriculum, and to strengthen ties and cooperation with foreign research institutes and institutions of higher learning. Graduate programs will be diversified and are expected to come to 10 in number by the end of 2005. Converge all cultures and shape university spirit. The annual International Day has become a platform for the university to launch cultural exchange with foreign countries and build an internationalized academic atmosphere. Extensive exchange and collaboration have been steadfastly going on with the South East Asia's university and educational organizations. With more than 200 overseas students from Europe, America, and Southeast Asian countries, the university has the largest number of overseas students compared with all the other universities and colleges of Yunnan province. During the next five years, the university will consolidate existing disciplines and specialties of competitive advantage, strengthen applied specialties, and vigorously manage to offer the applied disciplines and specialties that most gear up with the local pillar industries, high tech industries and the tertiary industries. In such an effort to foster high-caliber yet applied talents. In addition, it will strive to markedly enhance its overall operation around the three central projects of training talents, further improving teaching and updating teaching conditions in the hope of accelerating its progress and making still greater contributions for the local economy and community. The university plans to raise the full-time resident student population up to 12,000 by 2006 and pass the Ministry of Education's evaluation of undergraduate programs before 2007 in such a way to grow still more prosperous
by means of its own characteristics and strength in an age of intense competition and challenge. Dali is a land of man living peacefully and harmoniously with their nature. The character Da in Chinese carries various meanings. It can be interpreted as great scholar, profound learning, and broad-mindedness. The same is true of the character Li. It can be understood as absolute truth of science, criterion of all cultural activities, and principle of doing things. People of Dali University tend to compare seeking truth to climbing the top of Tansa Mountain and compare pursuing academic research to fighting storms and waves of Oha Lake. So long as our teachers and students adhere to the guideline of diligence being the only approach to knowledge and research, their achievements and noble quality will endure forever, just like the Tansa Mountain and Erha Lake. The ideal cherished by people of Dali University is as lofty as Tansa Mountain and as deep as Erha Lake. And with this ideal, Dali University will continue to advance with a steadfast pace beyond its rivals and ensure its own share of the higher education market in the future.